So I have, I was like going to do clean stuff tonight. I was like, let's not focus on penis. You know, I'm just, that's my default. If I like am too messed up, I'm just, I'll just start talking about my favourite subject. So I don't know whether to go in that room, rude, or go with my other stuff. So what do you guys think? Like penis or doomsday? Penis, 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 penis. 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 Isn't it just the best subject though? Like, oh my gosh. So, penis is my God. That's my religion. <laughs> I would rather, like, you know, I would sacrifice my knees to get down on those, like, church, no padded, kneeling things <laughs> to pray to penis. God. I call him God. Um, <laughs> it all started actually because I actually went to Catholic school, if you can believe that, in Bunbury. Yes, that's right. Bunbury. <laughs> um, yeah, and so um, we had to go to church a lot. Like, there was actually a church like, connected to our primary school. And <laughs> we used to do, have to do the Stations of the Cross. Oh my goodness. So we'd have to come with a tea towel on our head and a robe. And I never got it. So I always rocked up in like my pink robe and just like my tea towel on my head. And we'd do the Stations of the Cross. And it was actually really pathetic. Um, but yeah, so Jesus was the first person that ever turned me on. I cannot <laughs> believe it. You know, we meant to sit there and listen to a priest talk when there's like a half-naked guy and a little bit of cloth on the wall behind. Like, did anyone see, like, he's got contoured abs. Um, and he's like, come and get me. He's got his arms out, like, you know. I always like to narrow because oh, I never ever listened to what the priest was on about like I failed religion terribly um so I was always like what was Jesus thinking at that moment not only like fuck yeah like my mate betrayed me and here I am like nailed to a cross um but how like tight does that cotton like little dress thing look like that knot does not look it's so low it looks like it's about to come undone. And it reminds me of when I'm walking and my pants are falling down because I never wear a belt and I have no ass, so my pants always fall down. And I just like widen my stance as I'm like walking until I can like properly pull them up. They actually have fallen down once when I was like really drunk. Um, so yeah, I was like, fuck, that's what Jesus is thinking. Like he's like, fuck as if this fucking little cloth is going to stay up. And, I mean, if he's called Jesus, like, he'd probably have the best dick ever. <laughs> I probably would not have to put up with the perfect dick attached to the douchebag. So it's always my problem. Like, you find the perfect dick and then the guy is a complete douchebag. And, um... Yeah, so I always think like when people like say, oh, what like character first turned you on? Like, I never want to say that, yeah, I was a 10 year old at Catholic school sitting in church and like my clit started like tapping on the pews, like, holy shit, is that Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> he just looked like he really, like, you know, there's no pain without pleasure kind of thing. <laughs> And I really wonder, like, how does everyone, like, focus on what the priest is saying? Like, it's a fact, like, hurry up and get to the food and get fit, because I don't want to be here. But, um, yeah, and then, like, my grandma and my nana, who are, like, devout Catholics, gave me, like, all these pictures of Jesus. And I used to, like, hang them in my wall. I mean, in my, you know, to say that I was, like, yeah, I believe what you believe. But I never did. I mean, 
who gets off to Jesus, right? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>